here, my name is Helen. I am a Komari master consultant and trained professional organizer. I love to make videos exploring different aspects of the Komari method philosophy, sharing tips on organizing and decluttering, and how to simplify your life to make more room for joy. If that sounds good to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and come join me here each week. Today's video is all about what's in my current hair product collection. I've done similar videos on my channel about my uh, makeup products, my wardrobe, I've done one on my shoe collection, so today I thought why not do one about my hair products. Over the year, I've gone from one extreme to the other, and right now I'm somewhere in the middle, and I thought why not make a video and document this phase in my life, because who knows, it might change. And so, as I've mentioned in my other videos, I used to be a makeup beauty product junkie. I loved buying everything and hair product was one of them as well. I would go to the store and I would try everything. I wanted to try all the different shampoos and I would always have multiple different bottles in my shower and I had a ton of makeup products, styling tools you name it, I had a lot of things. After I went through my decluttering and simplifying journey, I actually went all the way to the other side of the scale and I went completely minimalist on my hair care routine. I did a couple of years where I did um, water only washing and I yeah, just washed my hair with water, no shampoo, no conditioner, and I eliminated all my styling products. But after two years of doing that, I felt like there was a change in my hair. I didn't feel like my hair looked good anymore, and I just didn't really feel that confident about my hair. And it was something that I just decided, you know what, I don't think this is working for me anymore, and I decided to go back to using shampoo and conditioner. So I've reintroduced some new products and also some of my old favorites, and right now, I think I'm at a place where I found a nice balance. So without any further ado, let's get started. Starting with shampoo and conditioner, I currently only have one shampoo and one conditioner, and it's these ones from Lalabo. And so I'm using the Hinoki scent for both of them, and I used to believe that you will have to switch your shampoo in order to not let your hair get used to it, and so I will always have at least two or three different kinds and I will alternate between them and I will also have hair mask and honestly I don't feel that way anymore I feel like if you have one product that you really like just keep using it I honestly don't feel like my hair is getting used to any product I don't feel like my hair has any built up I don't think I need any special clarifying shampoo or deep conditioning or anything like that yeah so this is my current routine I have these two products and I really really enjoy them this is the second time I have purchased this shampoo and conditioner mm -hmm. one of the reasons I chose Lalabo is because it's vegan it's cruelty free and also the amazing scent like let's just be honest I really really do like this product because of the scent I love how luxurious it smells and it just makes washing my hair feel like going to the spa I wash my hair about twice a week and I would say each bottle of shampoo and conditioner lasts me between four and five months I found that the shampoo go quicker and the conditioner lasts me longer I think it's probably because the conditioner is so thick so I don't use as much I really enjoy this shampoo and conditioner because I think it does exactly what I want it to do so after I shampoo and condition my hair, typically I would just towel dry my hair and put on some styling products. And so I have two styling products. I have, they're both from Orbe, and I have Cream for Style and Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. I have been using Cream for Style for many, many years. This is the product I was using before I went completely product free and no shampoo, no conditioner, no anything. And so of course this was the product that I realized I really missed in my life after not having it for two years and this is the first styling product I purchased after I decided to start using styling products again. So this is the first product I use after I shampoo and condition my hair. I towel dry and I put in about a nickel size amount and I just like rub it all over my hair and I just finger comb it. I don't even own a hairbrush so that's just what I do and then after that I use a little bit of the super shine moisturizing cream. So this is more of a new product that I 
introduced to my routine. I got it about six months ago and it's still a pretty full tube. I don't use a lot of it. I use about a P to a dime size. This one you can use on both damp or dry hair. I think on damp hair it's more of a heat protectant whereas on dry hair it's to help like the ends not look so frizzy. I really like both of these products because I really hate products like hairspray where I feel like I can't put my finger through my hair. I just don't like feeling like there's product in my hair, if you know what I mean. Next up is my hair tool. So currently I only have one hair tool and it's not really one, I mean, you'll see. So I have the Dyson Air Wrap, and if you look in the box, there are many products inside. It's not one product. I recently got the Dyson Air Wrap for my 40th birthday. I just turned 40 yesterday, but I've had the Air Wrap for about three weeks. I honestly just couldn't wait. I asked my husband if I could get this as my birthday present, and he said yes. And of course, he thought it was crazy to spend $700 on a hair tool, but I just really, really, really wanted it. I'm on the low buy year this year, and I just there's no way I can make room for this in my small budget. What we ended up doing is we were able to order this on the shopper's website and I was able to redeem my shopper's points towards it on a special redemption day. So we ended up paying about $300 for the air wrap, which was awesome. And since getting the air wrap, I have decluttered the rest of my hair tools. So I got rid of my hair dryer, I had a curling iron, and I also had a hair straightener. So even though this item has a really large box, it actually takes up less space now in my drawer than it used to. And I really like how now all my hair tools are nicely organized in this box and I love it. Before getting the Dyson Air Wrap, I probably watched every single tutorial, review, every video on YouTube about this product. I was worried about not loving this item as much as I thought I would, but in all honesty, I have to say this product far exceeded my expectations. Something I wondered about when I was watching all those tutorials and review videos is if I would actually need all these different attachments, and I actually do use all of them. The first attachment I use is the hair dryer attachment, and as you can see, it's a pretty small hair dryer, but it's pretty powerful. I also like that it's not too loud because both my son and I were pretty sensitive to noise and I really hate really loud noise things and he doesn't mind this at all and neither do I. It's still, I mean, it's not quiet, but it's definitely a lot quieter than our old hair dryer. So after I dry my hair for a couple of minutes, I switch to the brush attachment. I use either this or this. So I just dry my hair a little bit more using this brush attachment and I feel like it smooths as out my hair before I actually curl it. So I would do that for just maybe like another minute or so. And then the next step, I would curl my hair with these curling barrels. And as you can see, my hair is curled right now. So I actually did this last night and I didn't touch it up this morning. So this is just how my hair would stay after I blow dry my hair and use the curling barrel. So with these barrels, what I really like about them is that I'm really, really bad at using hair tools. There are two barrel sizes for the Dyson Air Wrap. There is the smaller one and the larger one. So personally, I prefer using the larger one, but I have used the small ones too if I wanted my hair to look curlier as opposed to the wavy texture that you see right now. I feel like this wavier texture is more closer to my natural hair and I find that's probably why my hairstyle would last longer because my curls are already there. This just helps accentuate it. This whole process takes me about 10 minutes and then my hair is completely dry by the end and then I go to bed and I wake up and my hair looks like this. Before I end this video, I do wanna address the topic of is it worth it? Because I find that every time I watch one of these videos or reviews on a more expensive product, people are always saying, is it worth it? I think everybody has to answer that question for themselves. For me, I think everything is well worth it because I really enjoy the experience of using my shampoo and conditioner. I think they function really well. My styling products work well for me. And as I've mentioned, I've had both of these tubes for more than six months and they're still full. So I probably just need one product a year. And so even even though these products are expensive, I don't need a lot of it and I think because it lasts so long, yeah, it's been well worth the price. And for the Dyson Airwrap, 
there's so many factors that makes it worth it for me. It's I like that it's well organized. Everything is stored compactly, even though the box is large. But as I mentioned, it actually takes up less space than all of my previous hair tools combined. And I also really like that I spend less time on my hair. I don't have to style my hair every day, whereas I used to have to touch it up every day. Now I don't really think about it. And I also really like that it's not as damaging to my hair because it doesn't get as hot. And of course, I like the fact that I don't ever have to worry about burning my hand anymore. And so when it comes down to it, I think the question of is it worth it really comes down to the overall picture of your own personal budget and your own personal spending habits. For me, I don't color my hair, so that's a huge expense that I don't have. Whereas some of my friends spend a couple hundred dollars or even I think $600 every time they color their hair. And so I don't really have that expense. So when it comes down to it, it's all about how you prioritize your own budget and your own spending. Even though something can be very expensive, it can still be well worth it. So that is my entire hair care routine product collection. I I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the Dyson or about any of the products, feel free to leave it below and I'll be happy to answer it. And if you have any other suggestions for videos you like to see on this channel, definitely let me know as well. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time, choose joy, live well.